President Biden's chilling warnings that the U.S. is now facing the prospect of a dangerous conflict not seen since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Russian President Vladimir Putin now threatening to use nuclear weapons and Putin says, I'm not bluffing. To you about President Biden's words from this last week. He said, among other things, that the risk of nuclear Armageddon right now is the highest that it has been since the Cuban Missile Crisis in 60 years. On the back side of this tunnel are two 2,000 gallon barrels. These are all food self-reliance units. <laughs> that looks so bad. Dude, this is so sick. Can you see it? Oh my God, he'd be so dead. Oh, there's people here. They understand what's going on right now? What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into it, guys, a huge shout out to Established Titles for sponsoring today's video. Established Titles is a fun and unique way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. The title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edliston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. Bam, and right there, folks, that is my certificate. That's right, you're reading it correctly, Lord. Andrew Flair. And you guys thought I owned a bunch of land in Nebraska, I now own land in freaking Scotland. The awesome part about this certificate right here is actually has the unique plot number so you can see exactly where the land is that you own. The other amazing thing about established titles is they'll actually plant a tree for every single order that they receive. And they work with global charities. One tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. With this, you can officially change your name to Lord or Lady. You can get it on your credit cards, your plane tickets, and even your dating profiles. It makes a great last minute gift and they even have couples packs that come with adjoining plots of land. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link down in the description down below will effectively be next to my plot, literally within walking distance. Depending on how many of you guys become a lord or a lady, we can literally build our own kingdom. Established Titles is running a massive early Black Friday sale right now, so click the link down in the description down below, use promo code FLAIR, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase if you go to EstablishedTitles.com slash FLAIR. So if you want to become a lord or a lady and become my neighbor in Scotland, click the link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to Established Titles for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do it every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So that makes sense, let's get back to the video. Shoo, what's going on folks? Welcome back to another video. We are preparing for a nuclear war at the missile silo. We've got the mini truck. We actually rescued this on the Beefcake Construction Channel. So you guys wanna watch that, uh, you'll have to go check that over there. But we rescued this guy. You guys remember we bought this thing. It's a Japanese mini truck. It's actually, you drive on the right side, it's crazy. And then we converted it, we, we gave it new tires, camo, lights, we've got pew holders and bench. This, we made a whole series, it's like two years ago. And then we left it up at my new house. It was it basically was a tripod for some cameras. So we restored it, got brand new batteries, some fresh fuel, and it's ready to rock and roll. And we are bringing it to the missile silo because Putin's out of hand, Banjo. He's yeah, one squirrely. he's one sneeze, hits a button before yeah. all obliterated. One little yeah. slip. Well, it, it, Putin, I've seen I've seen North Korea be doing some stuff. Yeah. Putin be doing some stuff. You know, Elon Musk and I think Biden said that this is the the closest we've been to a nuclear war since the Cold War in the 1960s, which is when this was built. This is the missile silo. So the plan today is we gotta get ready for a nuclear battle, okay? We need to prepare. We need to get pews, we need to get food, we need to get some type of power, sustainable solar. Banjo's strapped up. Kim better not mess with us. He, Banjo's got the old sh sawed off shot. So today's episode is going to be specifically based on trying to get this place more, even more ready than it already is for some type of war or zombie attacks or some type of apocalypse, something like that. We gotta get this place ready to rock and roll. So we got a ton of pews, we We've got the mini truck. We've got some food rations. Like I said, we're gonna walk you through everything on how to get this thing ready. And then we also need your guys' help. What do we miss? God. <laughs> What's he doing? 
That's a warning shot. That's you gotta let. If you come on to this. Come on to this property. Banjo might barrel stuff you with a shotgun. You guys will let us know what we're gonna be missing here, but we're gonna try to get food, water. I mean, we already have the shelter. You guys already seen the silo, but it's getting crazy out here, and so we need to get this place actually ready. One thing I would regret more than anything is the fact that I bought this thing and then didn't get it ready for a nuclear attack, and then we get under attack, and I have the missile silo, but it's not ready. Wouldn't you feel dumb? Because I'd feel dumb. So today we're getting ready and we're gonna pull this thing in there. We're gonna go through some scenarios. If somebody breaks in, how do we do, what do we do? If you know we get under attack by somebody, Banjo's gonna start shooting them with shotguns. Yo. So that's pretty much the plan. And uh, anyways, we're gonna pull inside, get the mini truck unloaded and get ready for war here at the Mississippi. Stay tuned. Dead battery. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you leave the key on? I might have. I don't know. She ain't nothing. She's, I mean, she ain't got a lick She's of nothing. Dead, dead. Gonna start jumping it. We wanted a reliable vehicle out here in case doomsday happens, so we brought the least re reliable vehicle we have. But the only reason we brought this thing is gonna say is outfitted for doomsday. I mean, it's literally a mobile, it's basically a tank at this point. I mean, we're gonna show you guys. We've got targets spread out across the property. Assuming we get ambushed, okay? Well, not ambushed, but people attack us, then me and Bands are gonna go mobile. And we've got some targets set out where we drive around and engage the targets, and we'll show you guys how lethal we really are once we get the truck started. Nah. Sounds dead. Sounds real dead. We got lights. <laughs> Let's go! business baby she's alive baby we got her running we're gonna let her do her thing for a little bit she is alive she's she's alive and well so um, anyways this is the arsenal that we got going on this is this is just a one-man arsenal okay I've got enough pews for each of us to have we didn't bring all of them today all of these pews right here have a specific purpose but the idea is I would have all of these banjo would have an equal kind of set you would have an equal kind of set so we all have different things now starting here this is Banjo's favorite. He already let one rip. Yeah, yeah. Little desk pop. This is old 12 gauge shorties. This is close quarters battle. Okay, somebody if somebody somehow can get in there, which we've got a extremely high tech defense mechanism to prevent anyone from getting in there. That is the only way in and out. Okay, there's no way to get either the escape hatch is completely closed up. Everything over there by the actual launch doors is completely closed up. The only way to get in is through there, and we'll show you guys here in a bit. It's impossible basically to get in once we. Oh, there's people here. Are these They're the zombies? You think these are the zombies or no? They understand what's going on right now? Bro, you better bring a shotgun. No. Banjo, you... why does he want to talk to him? I still think we should brought the gad. I took care of him. Then let him on the property. Banjo said, hear ye, hear ye, get off of here. So anyways, back to this. Shotgun, 12 gauge. So this is close quarters. Like I said, if somebody gets in. This holds like, what, nine rounds? Oh yeah, you, I mean, you, you can pump them. Yeah. And we, we got home defense rounds that are designed to do exactly Man. that. Next up, another well, potentially, it could be on the outside, but inside as well. This is a 223. This is a thermal, and we're going to be using it today, and we'll show you guys what it looks like when Banjo tries to intrude. And I've got this bad boy. Well, not not this bad boy, but this. We'll th take it off together. We'll take it off. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot Banjo. But this is a thermal. So nighttime, if somebody tries to break in at night, and we are inside the 223, I love it. Low recoil can hold a whole lot. And uh, and it is it. If we want to sneak up top, patrol the perimeter at night, because most of the, more than likely you're gonna get attacked at night. So thermal, and I actually have two of these. So we have two, we can have two thermal operators, so to speak. If we get under attack which we'll we'll show you that later yeah, today that shed would be a good spot oh yeah we've got that, that's a, that's the old shooting that's the old shooting shed right over there we'll show you that's a well house so we can go sniper up there this is another 223 this is going to be with a kind of an acog type site so this is something that's you're not super you know long range something that's kind of just in the perimeter of this kind of right close to this so if i'm going to come up top and i want to check it out and if somebody's on the outside of the fence i need to engage that target then this is something i could use again 223 try to keep it simple with the rounds i have a ton of 223 by the way too which is why we chose these um but i've got like two or three other one of these so it's gonna be perfect it's like the daily drivers for everybody this thing can shoot you know freaking far or really close Whoa. this is the old 6.5 creedmoor sniper it's an ar-10 uh, frame and i have 
I think three or four of these. This one is on the AR-10 frame, so it's got this, you know, more of the semi-automatic, but I do have two long-range bolt-action ones that are specifically designed for sniping. But this is gonna be your long-range bad boy. Um, and this has a, I think it's a three and a half to, to 10 zoom. So, I mean, it can, anything on this property for sure, but this would be something, yeah, you get up on top of a roof, you lay prone, you engage a target at a long distance, snipe them, and you take them out. Then, for really close combat, we got the Iron Sights AK-47. And this sucker, would be the, the pew I would want to have if I'm in the truck or on top of the truck and we're driving around because I can just sit here, open size, doo -doo 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 -doo, just like that. And I don't have to worry about looking through a sight, something that might be too close. It will be too close to the target. So this would be oh, iron sights. We have an iron sights AK-47. We've got a 6.5. We got two 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 threes. One's a thermal, one's not. 12 gauge shotgun. Last but not least, nine millimeter handgun. So this is gonna be the last resort. This is something that you keep holstered on you. You run out of ammo. This thing, you can rack it. You can still engage your targets at, you know, 40, 50 yards, um, but especially close quarters, then, you know, you, this is your backup right here. And I've got a few of these as well. So like I said, I kind of brought one of everything, knowing at home, I've got like three or four of everything. But I want to show you like, this would be like my personal arsenal. So I can pretty much accomplish anything that needed to be done on this property using these pews right here. So with that being said, we're going to put them to use. Enough talking, it's time to get to shooting. We're gonna load up, jump in the mini truck now that she started. Like, so we got four targets. Hopefully those guys just left so they don't get shot. And we're gonna cruise around and we're gonna simulate an attack. Banjo's got his gas, he's ready. You see you see that sucker and then you see this? Or that. Yeah. You, you tell me you gonna mess with that guy? They see that, they run. Yeah. Okay, them zombies want no smoke from Banjo. So let's get loaded up in the truck and get shooting, stay tuned. I'm ready to go. Banjo looks like he's ready for war. So what we're gonna, like I said, we got four targets. There's one straight down range there. There's one, two, three, four. So we got this thing up and running. It sounds amazing. It's just, she just needs a little bit of warming up. Obviously we get under attack. She's not one you can jump right in, but like I said, I'm okay. We'll keep a trickle charger on the battery. Life will go on. But like I said, this thing is designed for yeah, attacking zombies, which is what we got the, literally the bench back here for Banjo. He's ready. Look at the, the AK is just sitting. She's ready to go. There's two pew holders. We got lights, so at night we're good to go. I'm gonna be driving up here, and I am gonna be carrying the old nine. This is something that you shouldn't try at home, okay? Shooting from a moving vehicle. Don't try this at home. Don't sue me, okay? This is not safe. But we all we have to practice for for the this simulate uh, zombies attacking us. So Banjo's got the two two three ready, close range two two three, and then we got the AK forty seven. Uh, so both are completely loaded up. My nine's loaded up. I'm gonna jump in. Again, we're gonna act like all of a sudden we're out here. Maybe we're fishing on that pond one day and also we look over and we're like, oh, the zombies are here. Get in the rig. We don't have time to get down in the silo and lock it up. We're just gonna engage the targets right now and knock them out and not worry about it. So that's the plan right now. You gotta get four confirmed zombie kills. And we're gonna do a quick lap, like I said, engage the targets and we'll see how accurate Big Daddy Banjo is. You excited? Oh yeah. You feeling like you're gonna be accurate or no? I don't know, it's it's gonna be bu bumpy. it's gonna be bumpy. It's pretty bumpy because we're not really on an actual road here, and this this truck itself is not all that um, it's all not all that stable. Anyways, let's get shooting. All right, boys, lock and load. We're going to war. <laughs> now he did it. We're going. First target, banjo. It's on your right. Here we go. We got target number two coming in hot on your right. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh, we got a close one. We got a close one. Oh, you. Woo! Oh, we died. Oh, the, oh hey, the e brake was on that whole time. Last one, Banjo, number four. You got the AK? You got it. Banjo got the AK. Let's go. Let's back dump this boy. Light him up. Did we pass the challenge? Who? Huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> they died. Nothing That thing ain't alive. No, it's for sure dead, yeah. The final zombie. Look at he ain't going nowhere, boy. Shoot! Got her. I don't know if I hit any of those, to be honest. It might have been all banjo. But the old nine came in handy. I didn't realize how close I'd be to that guy. I barrel stuffed his ass. Yeah, I shot about 20 times. The uh, ratio wasn't too bad. Listen, we got plenty of ammunition. That's all that really matters. As long as the zombies can't shoot back, hey, yeah. they're dead zombies. That first target when we were balancing on this, I think I missed eight times. I, so. Yeah, I was watching. I'm like, yeah, we hadn't hit. And then you hit it. I was like, all right, we can keep going. Uh, yeah, I killed it once. The e brake was on the whole time. I was wondering why we were going so dang slow. Um, so yeah, I see I still got some kinks and stuff to work out, but overall good though. Yeah. I, I think mean, we passed. I mean, I think I think we passed. You guys let us know. Did we pass a zombie test? 
All four of them have holes in them. That little nine's perfect. Just pred yeah. at the window. Just let her eat, baby. So, pews wise, I think we're good to go on the outside. We're gonna go down on the inside and show you guys our plan for food, for water, for more security and protection. Yes, if we get under attack by zombies, we if we, if we get caught by surprise, we can get in our mobile command center and Banjo with his old trigger finger can put down some zombies. But if we happen to be inside, <coughs> if we have to be inside during the attack, we need to formulate a plan for that. So we'll see you guys downside. Down in down inside. We'll see you guys inside. Alrighty, folks, this is the entrance to the silo down this way, but let me show you what we got dang on here. This is how, you guys are wondering, well, if you're in here, how do you prevent people from getting in? There's only one way in and one way out, which is through this door right here. There's literally no other way to get in. So, what we got here is a winch, okay, with a battery hookup, and a winch, and banjo. How's this, how's this thing work? You hook it up right here. Hook it on up. Yeah, it goes through this chain. Pulls yeah, that holds shut. The door closed. Holds it shut. Give, give her the old, let's see. Let's see if you can break through. Go ahead and clint that right on that nipple. There's no way. Look. No way. No. You would have to break this winch cable to get it in. There's or inside a foot of concrete. Um, yeah, or break through the concrete. And but that's it's super loud when they try to do that. So yeah. it's like also kind of an alert. Yeah, you know? yeah, you'd be able to hear. So as of right now, there's no way anyone from the outside, I'd give you a million bucks, and there's no way you could get in. I mean, you'd have to take like, I mean, that's a steel door. I don't know, you have to run in, run into something like that. So now we're completely locked in, and we're gonna head down there and go into the silo and show you guys exactly how we're gonna store a couple thousand gallons of water, fresh drinking water. The individual who owned this before left us with like 20 years worth of MREs, but we have some that we're gonna have today. So we gotta practice using MREs and making sure we all know when, what our favorites are and start stocking up on them. And then we also need to try the thermal out. Yeah. Banjo's gonna imitate being a zombie. Somehow the zombie's gonna get through this door and then I, I we gotta kill all the lights, Banjo. Yeah. And then Banjo's gotta be the zombie and I've gotta take him out with the thermal. It's not on a, yeah. an actual- I appreciate if you don't shoot me actually. But this, this will find Banjo, even if he's not moaning and groaning. Pretty good actor, huh? Practice. He needs, an Emmy. he needs an Emmy. All right, stay tuned. Those guys are new. That is the entrance coming down. If we wanted to lock it, we could. But since Banjo's gonna be a zombie, we don't need to. We can come through this. And like I said, we've, I think we've thought everything through. I mean, as far as if a nuke happens, I mean, we should be safe. We've got plenty of drinking water. We've got plenty of food. If the lights go out, we have some, I think we have some little hand crank lights yeah. too. Because yeah. the guy who owned this was a prepper, so. And you got knitting supplies, don't forget. Oh, God, yeah. Down. Oh, Banjo's favorite room. Right here, baby. All right, so here are, this is the living quarters. So in case you guys are new, we are still working on renovating it, and we obviously have to get some lights. It's not a whole lot of lights, but what we do have is this. This is a place to get portable power station. You can power pretty much whatever you need. Well, Ben's got a good grip. Let's see if he can try it. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you gotta do the two-hand method. Really? Work, you're yeah. a professional with that? Yeah, yeah, no, he works better. Is it let go? Does it just die? Yeah, Man, you does. really gotta be good at pumping. Well, that's here. I mean, it goes all the way over there, though. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. But the EcoFlow here, we have a ton, we like five or six of these. We're planning to bring them all down now. <clears throat> if you're wondering, well, well, Flair, how are you gonna power the EcoFlow once it's dead? Well, matter of fact, this vent right here, this is where the power comes in. This thing actually goes up and out to the surface, there's like a little cone over it. So what we can do is we, we have solar panels for the EcoFlow. We can put the solar panels up facing the south and then run it through here and have a whole bank of those guys. So that's pretty much unlimited power that can power pretty much anything. You can do small refrigerators. You can do, you know, obviously, I don't know, cell phones really matter at that point if a nuke went off, probably not. But you would have power. What do you got going on there? Oh, that's that's the old, I'm gonna show you guys the, the water. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I think I'm dying out here. Uh, I'm not really sure. But this is the living quarters. We still have to, I mean, so if, if Putin's doing Putin things, we gotta be careful. We gotta start working on this soon. We need to get some new lights in it. We gotta get a, the toilet installed. I really need that. We also need to get the shower installed. We need to get the flooring in. We need to paint the walls. I mean, I want this thing to be fully livable. I want there to be you know, bunk beds, TVs, couch, kitchens, uh, bathrooms, all that stuff like that. I mean, right now we've got a, a, a tub, which is sitting there doing, you know, doing tub things. So Banjo can at least soak. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much all that we can do. What's going on here? This one, you got it. It's the forever flashlight. You just got to give it a good old. No change. way. Yeah. Really? Look at that. I'll get, here, let me give it a. Let me give it a pump. Yeah, yeah. He's got to really? be lying. Oh, I wasn't on. 
Oh, see? So what's, it doesn't stay on. No it. batteries. It's supposed to last for five minutes. Three seconds per shake to fully charge it. No batteries, no something else, I don't know. No bulb. Oh, there's no bulb, all right. <laughs> it didn't work. Forever flashlight. You'll never need another one, it says. You're just not very good at giving it the old. It only works when it's on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this. Forever flashlight. All right, boys, <laughs> let's find them. <laughs> what do we got going on here? This is where we need your help. What yeah. do we need to invest in? Something's got to be better than the first. Because, like I said, the EcoFlow should work. We've got like five or six of those big banks. We've got solar that can trickle charge it as long as nu the nuke doesn't destroy the sunlight. But really, do we need power? What do we need power for? We don't need heat, and we don't need. A Everyone's like, well, what are you going to do for heat? You don't need it. No. It's warmer down here than it is up, up top right now, believe yeah. it or not. Like, it's hoodie season year-round in this bunker. You don't need heat. You don't need AC. I guess the only thing for power would be the, your water supply to pump. Yeah. But I don't know how it all works with our barrels. How the barrel Because the barrels have to get pumped, the water. We can do some crank, hand boost crank pump. ones. We can plug the boost pump into that. Thing. Into the EcoFlow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll be all right. There like, we go. I think we'll be fine. I really don't see a problem. So, anyways, well, let's take you guys down to the actual missile silo and show you guys how we're gonna be storing thousands of gallons of water. Fresh drinking water. I mean, how long does it take you to drink thousands of gallons? No, no showers, it's not, they're not allowed. I mean, how many, probably drink like a half a gallon of water a day. I mean, I got you're supposed to drink a gallon, like do we really? No. I mean, yeah. half a gallon. Mm -hmm. So that would be four, how many, do we know how, many, how much water this holds? Is it, is it, thousand, it? Is it 2,000 in total? 2,000? Two, two 2,000 gallons. Is, is it two 2,000? So. so four, I think it is yeah. 4,000. So it'd be 8,000 days. That's for one person. Five and a half years worth of water. Dang. That's if you drink, you don't have to drink a half a gallon of water a day no. either. Like to stay alive alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Five, we have a five and a half years worth of water. I think that's pretty good. So yeah. take you guys down this side. All right. I keep forgetting. Some of you guys might be new here. So we're leaving this room. Uh, that was Banjo's room. You can see he was here. And then you come down this stairwell. So this is the electrical situation. So assuming we lose power, we go off grid, then none of these lights that you're seeing right now will work. But like I said, we've got portable power stations that should last quite some time if we are conservative with it. And then down here was the old command center. And this is actually where Buddy stored a whole lot. You guys are wondering food rations wise. We, we brought a bunch of MREs, we'll try some today. But right here, these are all food self-reliance units, okay? You got, I don't know how many cases, a lot. A lot of cases, Benjamin. We got olive oil, non-fat, powder milk. <coughs> Still I mean, liquid. it's still liquid. I'm yeah. Surprised. So, worst case, and then under the floor, so as you can see, all of those five gallon buckets, there's hundreds of them. They're filled with random things. You got knitting supplies, there was like salt in one of them, sugar, sugar basically stuff to bake. So, the guy who owned this was preparing to live here if a nuke happened. It was actually Y2K. And so, this place has a ton of what we need. I mean, you got a nice respirator right there already. There's also all these batteries, which I don't know if they actually work. Somewhat old, but I think he was planning on, you know, doing something with that. We need your help. What are we missing? After you watch this video, what are you like, dude, you have to have one of these, or you gotta get one of these if you plan on living. I thought we thought of everything. We got the pews, we've got a ton of ammunition. Right now, we're, I don't know, probably 50. Feet probably right yeah, here. Yeah, say 40, so. 40, 50 feet underground, so bomb shouldn't affect us. And you've got, who's that? It's big daddy, Jason. Jason. That's Jay Jason's been here. Then you go down even further, and I think this is probably, right here is probably the safest room in the building. This, we are inside of a tunnel, and I feel like this is kind of in the middle. It's super deep. If a bomb was to go off, this is where I'd go. I think this would be like yeah. your safest, your safest shelter. So this is where your water pumps are, your water heater. Which again, you wouldn't have any of that stuff if you end up losing power. So just fingers crossed we don't have that. If you really, really wanted this thing to be super, you need to get a generator that can power all this stuff. But then you need fuel and we have to store the fuel. And I just, I know that's what you should do, but I don't know. Look at the condensation in here though. You see that? Yeah, but that's we, we left our yeah. door open again. We got to quit doing that. So then through here. Choo! Oh, yeah. So the silo itself, when we were driving around and stuff, that big concrete thing you guys saw on the drone, that's, that's up there. Turn that light on, there it is. Look at that, how's our boat? Oh, she needs some air. So here's your silo, filled with water. So, in my opinion, this is probably consumable. Not great, but you you probably wouldn't die. What do you think? Do you think really? you die? You think um, you die? All that metal on the bottom is probably not very tasty Can't water. be drinkable. You, wouldn't, you think you'd die though? Probably get pretty sick. Yeah. Well, worst case, we have a few million gallons of that, but you might be wondering, where does this ladder go? And that's where we have 4,000 gallons of fresh water stored 
in there. It pumps it from the well into there, stores it, and we have a water filtration system on it. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on. I'm gonna try to take you guys up there and show you, what's, show, show you what we're dangling with. I'm not sure about all this. In the Crocs too, freaking rip. Oh, hey, how's it going? Am I there yet? I don't know how I feel about this. What if this railing just snaps? Whoa, I've never actually been up here. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh yeah, I'm shaking. Dude, this thing's crazy. Who's Eric? Eric's been here, in case you're curious. So, on the back side of this tunnel are two 2,000 gallon barrels that this, all this PVC connects to and they get filled. Oh, there's a light up here. How do you plug that in? What's this, what's this orange cord go to? Yeah, it's plugged in right here. Okay, side. so the lights, pro light bulbs out. There is no way I'm crawling in there. I promise you, there's fresh water in there. That's where it's all stored. I've never been up here. The old owner did all this, but he said there's 4,000 gallons of fresh water. I didn't like that at all. No? No. But what I think is, that little system over there, I think it's the same thing that's dangling down there. Like, I think uh, it's the same. The yeah, it's like a vent. No, so it's just a tunnel, and there's a big room back there, and you can't see. The, pi the PVC just, like, goes down. You can't see any of the barrels. You guys have to just take our word for it, I promise. That the, the owner, I mean, he put this ladder. This is his ladder. We didn't do it. But that stores all the fresh water that we just calculated. Four people drinking a half a gallon a day, which is quite a bit, in my opinion. They get uh, five and a half years worth of water, which is pretty good. If you don't care about getting sick, you've got unlimited amounts right there, too. Mm -hmm. So, drinking water, check. Shooting zombies, check. I'm getting a little hungry, Banjo. I am, too. I think I'm, I'm ready for a little MRE action. And then we gotta hunt Banjo, because he's gonna be a zombie with the thermal. Stay tuned. Shoo! And we're back to the living quarters. Now, we, where the water is stored, it gets pumped, and it goes into this bad boy, Banjo. Let's see it. This is Banjo's tub water. He likes this. Really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> there it is. You got it. Fresh, clean drinking water. All right, you're claiming it's fresh and clean. That is disgusting. Why does it look like that? If you drink that. <laughs> Do we need to let it cycle for a bit or? Maybe. Oh, this, I bet they didn't have the drinking water hooked up to the, the, hot, the tub. This is, this is just straight out of the well, I bet. The drinking, the water filtrations are right here. I'll go show them that. Yeah, I don't know. That is disgusting. You know, I probably wouldn't drink that, but that's also been sitting in the pipes for yeah, we might need a, little. a while. This is the water, look at this. You got your dispense, this is your water dispenser. And oh, you got two microwaves over here as well. And, uh, and a maxi mixer, in case you're wanting, wanting one of those bad boys. That looks nice. Yeah, they left us with all sorts of fun stuff. They also left us with a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, look at this thing. What's it doing? Is I it, don't know. Cool. Does it work? Oh, did you just squirt? <laughs> I didn't touch what it. The f hey, not in the house. There it is. It worked. There it is. There it is. See if that looks like freaking somebody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, I mean, give that a swig. Well, that was the same bottle that. The other stuff was. So I take it. I'll take it straight from the teat. You want it from the teat? Yeah. <laughs> Watch the hair, dude. You don't even <laughs> touch this thing. Like you, it's like you put it in front of it, and it, like I didn't even touch it. Oh, hey, hey, hey! It's, it's not on the new. Floor. That's nice wood. <laughs> what the hell? This thing's too smart for us. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. But it's nice. It's that, it tastes good. It's cold. Does it? Yeah. It's cold. Yeah, you get it All right, I'm gonna get in there. <laughs> oh. Shit. I didn't, I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. What are you? It's just laying on my knee. First time or? <laughs> yeah. That's cold. It's cold water. Yeah. Hey, so we got cold, clean water. I'm gonna leave that there for whoever freaking brushes up against that next. All right, let's get to eating. Woo! Here we are, folks. MRE time. We've got. Shout out to Josie, by the way. He's actually the first person to introduce me to MREs. I remember we were out there ice fishing. Shooting the ice, actually. Shot the ice. Didn't catch anything. Ate a nice MRE. Good video. This is Chili Mac, which from what my recall is great. Southwest style beef and black beans. From what I call this is not bad. Creamy spinach fettuccine. That doesn't sound bad. Brisket, entree, gravy, and seasoned beef brisket. And chicken chunks white. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. Chicken <laughs> chunks. I'm not sure on that. Hey, this one's Warfighter recommended. Warfighter recommended? Are they, they're not all? I don't know. Well, no, Warfighter recommends. Uh, these ones might be just a little So, <clears throat> what's the shelf life on one of these bad boys? That's oh, what I'm curious about. Obviously, Buddy left us with a ton, but those were literally, he put those here before Banjo was alive. He was still a sperm. And so, we don't know how long the shelf life is on those. So, what we really need is probably stock up on freshies that could last another 10, 15, 20 years. But again, less, is there something better than MREs nowadays? I think MREs is pretty, like, freaking prehistoric. You know what I mean? Like, they've got to have something better than MREs at this point. I don't point. know. The military still uses them. Well, they do. They're, they're, they're efficient here. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, dude, Reese's Pieces? That's what I'm saying. She. Oh. What is that? This is like Gatorade. Oh, the orange powder. Yeah, yeah I like, that's some good stuff. You got, what is it, barbecue corn nuggets? Really? Oh. Like corn nuts. Corn yeah. nuts, really. And some... Creamy spinach fettuccine. All right. Huh. You can try it. You want to try that sure. one? Sure. I'll do some chili mac. It's pretty easy, actually, how these work. You just need water. They have a heat pack in them, and they're water activated. And then I remember you have to, like, lean them up against something, and then it should heat everything up nicely. This is the heat pack. You got the heat pack? Yeah, don't yeah. overfill it. Lean it up against a rock is what they say, so we'll find something that's like that. This is some chili mac with... That it. looks like chili mac. With... Some gum that makes you go poop. Yeah, you gotta eat some of that gum. I don't need that today. Uh, vanilla pound cake, let's go. Oh, Twizzler nibs? A little nibbies. <laughs> Dang, these must be new. I feel like that's new. The rock hard. Oh, yeah, man. there ain't a whole lot going on there. Cheese spread with jalapeno, because oh. then you put on the cracker. Love that, nice. that's fire. Grape powder. Really? Yeah, yeah, we oh, gotta yeah. try that. And yeah. then some beef snack. We're gonna get these guys laid out, get them all heated up, unbox them, taste them. Let you guys know how they are. And like I said, drop some comments down below. Should we just buy a bunch of MREs? Is there something better out there? And then it's time to go after Banjo. Ding the zombie. The best part of today's video. Stay tuned. Alrighty, folks. Well, we're waiting on those to heat up. We gotta get to snacking. That's the whole point. They send you a bunch of stuff that you don't need uh, heat for to snack on while you wait for your MRE to actually heat up. So this is a vegetable cracker. I don't know. What do you got? Corn nuts. Do you like corn nuts? Like corn, yeah, corn nuts. nuts aren't bad. I feel like I never have them, but they're pretty good. They sound crunchy. These are barbecue. These are fire. Are they really that good? 10 out of 10. No way. Mm-hmm. They are crunchy. They're good, though. Those are good. So I've got vegetable crackers with cheese spread and jalapenos. Talk about blowing your ass out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jalapeno cheese spread? Are you guys crazy? We got some sugar. What do we got, right we got going on here? Ew. That's dead. That's got to be good. Got some sugar cookies? Mm. A little spicy, yeah. Oh, I mean, if I was gonna die, yeah. These cookies are good. Really? What makes them patriotic? They say patriotic on them. It's a bell. It's a Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. Yeah. I was gonna try this. The grape? This is grape powdered electrolyte. If you guys were in the military, comment down below. What was your favorite either meal or just item? But I'd like to know your favorite meal. I heard they like trade them and stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, you ready? Purple. I know, I didn't know they had purple. I've always seen the orange. It's blue. Yeah. Really? Indigo. That's what they say. That's what they call uh, it. Those Pringles come with that or no? No, that, these Pringles. We had. We, <laughs> that was my snack earlier, yeah. Mm, smurf. Tell me if that tastes blue. That's not bad. What's it taste like? I don't know if it really tastes like grape. It smells like grape. Smell that. Really? Yeah, it kinda, it's it, it's kind of like a blue. Almost like a blue Powerade, almost. Be this. Be this guy, yeah. I mean, it definitely lifts your spirits. That's good. It's kind of grape. Yeah, it's not really grape grape. It's not it's strong just, grape, but it, hey, it's, it's not bad. We have a beef snack here. I'll share. That just does not look good. Mmm. Mmm. That's a dog treat. That's worse than a dog treat. I want to feed that to my dog. It tastes like a dog treat. What is this? Oh, my pound cake. Let's go. Oh, oh look at this. This is the weirdest thing. You ready? Just a naked pound cake. Ew. With this. I feel like that that it can't be like. Yeah, that's not good. good. Don't eat that part. It can't be sanitary, right? Mmm. <laughs> pound cake. Yeah. That pound cake can get it. It's a little dry, but. have <clears throat> <laughs> more water. Huh? We might have to eat more, or drink more than half. Ow. All right, over there. No, not really. Is that hot or no? Yeah, I don't know if the top was all the way hot. They give you spoons? Oh, yeah, they give you yeah, spoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egg noodles, spinach, mushroom, and a cream sauce. Really? You got mushrooms in there, too? You, oh, you're, big, looks you're a big mushroom guy. I do like <laughs> mushrooms. But there's no meat in it. I feel like that's weird. Yeah, I think that, that's like your only source of protein. Well, yeah. your beef stick, I guess, is good that's, protein. But I wouldn't eat that. Do you think these freaking rock hard nibs are any better or no? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Oh, my jaw just cracked. Oh my god. <laughs> that, happen you see that happen often? Huh? I'm gonna have to go to the dentist. <laughs> that's gross. That's, that's nasty. <laughs> you got it. Come on, now you gotta eat it. You, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> that looks so bad. I can't. <laughs> that can't be good. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Parker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Can you control it? No. <laughs> three out of ten. Like, if I was hungry and I didn't have a meal for like three days, I could finish it. But, like, is it that bad? <sighs> Just tastes weird. You okay, so to taste it. So, Josie said that was the worst one. <laughs> oh, oh, that was. Yeah, it tastes like ass. Is it bad? <laughs> I knew you looked right at the camera and you were like, yeah, it's one of the best ones. I, was I, I, didn't even, I mean, I kind of suggested, but I didn't like tell you that's one you no, didn't you have. No, you didn't. I let him lead the way, but jo Josie said it was the worst. I'm dying over here. <laughs> I might I might have sharded out. I'll have to check here in a second. But. One no, one. you got to, oh, you're not even going deep. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that's bad? Get some like gooey stuff. <laughs> right there. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong. I'm going for another one. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. There's got to be worse MREs than that. Probably. Speaking of that, you know, is mine heated up or no? Heated up enough. This thing is cold. Is it really? It's hot at the bottom, but I don't think you listen to the directions very good. Right. And some orange. Is it, what was this, Chili Mac? Yeah. I feel like that can't be bad. It's not hot. <laughs> mm. It's like a. I'm missing a little. <laughs> I could eat that. That's like Chef Boyardee level. Really? Like, yeah, that's not bad. I think your Reese's pieces were the best thing. Yeah, I think so. These things go more candy. Your nibs, your nibs weren't good. Nibs were not good. Right, Pound cake. Focus. Pound cake is all right. That orange drink is gonna be busting. Sorry, right. it would have been better if I got all of it in there. He's a little what, a little watered down. What do you yeah. snort that later? Jesus, what'd you leave so much there for? Oh, my bag was warm. Really? I'd eat that today. For just for oh, fun. this is coffee cream. Let's go. Oh, matches. We can start a fire. So, wow. Let's go. Maybe I could heat up my chili, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the gum. What's smoking over here? Probably sure. Oh, that's hot as hell. Why is it now? It's smoke. Oh. Sh Oh, shit, that's hot. Dude, it just, dude, look at this. It's freaking smoking. Oh, why is it now hot? It, 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 we already ate. Maybe I could heat up my chili, man. Did you get any gum? No. You didn't get gum? You get two, though. Here, you want a piece? No, I really don't. You probably need both. OK. <laughs> dude, this is on fire right now. No, I don't. Mm, dude, this gum's like, it's, it's uh, big red. Really? Yeah, cinnamon. cinnamon. Oh, that's good. Dude, I'll be honest. If I had to live off these suckers, you could do it. There's enough variety. Dude, I'd be pooping all the time. Dude, look at this. I'll be starting fires. This is bag on fire. This thing's on fire. Chili Mac beats the spinach Alfredo, fettuccine. Pound cake was okay. Reese's pizzas were good. The nibs weren't that great. The drinks were good. This gum is great. I don't know if it's gonna make me poop later or not, but this is oh. nice. I like this. You like the pound cake oh, or not? like some liquid on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think your stuff got on it. It got, dude, this stuff went everywhere. Well, let us know what your favorite MREs are, or do you think we should stock them on something else? Now, we got not a full belly doll because we didn't eat much. It is time for some thermal action. So this is gonna be on a AR-15. Banjo the Zombie's gonna go out there. Pitch Black, we're gonna kill all the lights in here. See if I can hear him first. Get the scope on him, and you guys can see exactly what Banjo the Zombie will look like through the thermal and see if we can take down the enemy before he gets into the living quarters. Stay tuned. You ready to be a zombie or what? Yeah, born ready. So I think you need to go through there a little ways. I don't want to go through stairs with no lights. I'm going to try. Oh, you'll be fine. Hey, he's a zombie. You'll be all right. In the real scenario, it'll be attached to an AR-15. If I hear you, then basically you have to try to sneak in. Go. We're going to kill the lights completely. There'll be no lights whatsoever in this thing. So you want me to burn or not? Probably not. To hear Probably you. not. Yeah, I'll be a silent gonna be a silent zombie. I just wanna see if I'm sitting on the little futon back there, am I able to, you know, hear an intruder? Yeah. And then I wanna be able to see what it, I wanna see what you look like through the thermal too. You ready, Banjo? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You good, Banjo? Yeah. All right, let's get back. Let's get back in the room here. Dude, I haven't been in here in the dark, it's bro. Creepy. This is scary. It's weird how quiet it is. All right. Oh, you can hear him already. It's crazy. I can see the heat off the lights that we killed. Really? Yeah. There's a light bulb down there. Oh, I see something. Oh my gosh. Get smoked. Dude, this is so sick. Can you see him? Oh my god, he'd be so dead. He would be so I can even tell that's banjo. 
Dude, he's so dead. Oh, I'd light your ass on fire with this 223 right now. Not even a chance, bro. Rip. I mean, not even a chance. Rip. All right, Benji, you're up. We gotta, you, we, this is your training, too. All right. Oh, you're dead. Is that crazy? Gone. Oh, headshot right there. Boom. You see my wiener? <laughs> oh, dude, I, right as you came around that corner, I was looking at your wiener. Bam! All right, she is shut and locked up. Look at that bad boy. We got her. She, we're going to leave her here. She's going to be an escape vehicle if we need to bug out of here some for some reason or go anywhere. But we proved that Banjo is a sharpshooter. You give him enough bullets. Yeah. And uh, he'll get her done, did. And the old combo. You could always ride someone dirty in the back right there, too. I mean, you could have me driving with the handgun, somebody in the passenger seat with a pew, and then two people on the back in the bed filled with ammunition. And we could go crazy. The windshield that goes up. So straight, so I can out just, the front. straight out the front. Yes. And then I'm thinking, get one of those big machine guns and just mount it. And Bader just... Doo, 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 just turret. Which I think would be good on this thing. So I think it works uh, for the most part. Like I said, the, we just got to kind of get ready. I you don't know, you know what Putin's doing over there. And then the zombie apocalypse could happen pretty much at any point. So we need to be... We, we have the side. We got to make sure we're prepared. So you guys comment down below. What are we missing? I said, I think we just we need to stock up on more MREs. I don't know if the ones that are already there are edible. Maybe we'll have to try them. Our water supply should be pretty much infinite. Also, if you think about it, if we could just start a fire, we got plenty of good trees. You boil the silo water, and you'd probably be all right. You know what I mean? Good chance. Bo boil the nitrates out or something, or the jet fuel, whatever it was, ro yeah. rocket fuel that was in there. So I mean, like the thing is, I think we have plenty of water. Our food supply is not bad. Again, we just need to get, bring all the rest of the pews. I mean, 50 cal, we gotta bring all of it down here with all the ammunition. We've got the thermal, we actually have two thermals. So we have two thermals. I mean, all these years of acquiring pews that you don't ever need, you tell my wife that, okay? It's gonna pay off, Banjo. Yeah. Cause we're gonna have a freaking army over here. And when the world comes to an end, we're gonna protect our fortress with everything that we, we have. And then have that thing to, to take us around town or whatever. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, comment down below, what are we missing? What, do, what else do we need um, to make this thing nuke proof? The structure itself is already nuke proof, but like if an actual nuke went off, what, what are the, some of the supplies we would actually need to be able to survive for uh, you know, maybe a year or two at least. And then same thing with the zombie apocalypse. I don't think they get in. That thing, we got that winch on there. You ain't getting in that sucker. I don't think no zombies can crawl in. So I think we'd be okay from the zombies, but in case they can figure out a way to get in or break down the door, we'll light them up with the pews. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next time. And peace. <laughs>